In this video, we're gonna have a shave ridge and do an unboxing, stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me for the shave ridge. And we're having our shave ridge in the BBS Live um, mug and unboxing. We have a few things to unbox. I was waiting on the Bailey's uh, Irish coffee, but it's still not here and things were piling up. So I figured let's do an unboxing and have her shaverage. The shaverage is, uh, this is just coffee with a little bit of uh, Jameson Irish uh, whiskey. It's not an Irish coffee. We'll make an Irish coffee when we do that video, if it ever gets here. <laughs> but um, good beverage all the same with a little bit of coffee and uh, Irish whiskey. Okay. The first box here is from QED USA, and if you've never ordered from there, you don't know what this is, and if you have, you do, and so we shall reveal it. Uh, the, the unboxing knife here is just a Spyderco Bird, cheap, efficient knife for unboxings, got a really sharp point, which I like using for these unboxings. If we can actually get it opened up here, we'll be well on our way, and Scott Leslie, the peaceful shaver and the stallion inspired me on this unboxing. So we have some samples there to start with, and those weren't what I was ordering, but inside we have a brush just in a plain nondescript sort of box. Let's open her up and see what we have. I, again, th this was inspired by Scott Leslie and the stallion. And as you can see there, Savile Row. That's what it is. It's the 3824 Mull of the Savile Row. Nicely wrapped. And of course, this is going to look much smaller, having not been used or put to the water yet. But there is our Savile Row. I used the Savile Row that uh, Scott Leslie gifted me, and I absolutely loved it. So I figure, let's get another one. I talked to the stallion to ask uh, for some of his favorites. And this what was uh, one of his favorites as well, the 3824 which has a 24 millimeter knot, and we look forward to using this soon. So let's set that aside and get to the next unboxing, which was, uh, this one comes from Dark Sanctum, which is uh, 3D print stuff. And by the way, I'm not looking to make any political statements or anything with, with this particular item. Uh, I purchased this item. It is a brush. And it looks like it's uh, nicely packaged. Folks, just buy and use what you like. If you don't want to use inspired products, don't buy them. No big deal. I know that Jose, in talking to him, you know, made some mistakes along the way. Uh, but he does credit Paladin for the Samurai design. And, and naming it uh, Samurai X was kind of silly. It's now called the Ronin. And that's what we're unboxing. And this is fairly heavy. And by the way, it was nicely package. It's got this tissue paper on it and there we have it and as you can see there's a bottle cap uh, in the end there and that is that is pretty cool. There's some good heft to this. Uh, this is a this is now called the Ronin. It does have a little seam there which is uh, the case with these 3D printed uh, brushes. That is more handsome than I expected. Uh, honestly I'm re really liking the looks of that and again this comes from Jose at Dark Sanctum. Uh, I reached out to him and I saw uh, El Chingon had one of these and I thought, let me let me try that. I know there was some controversy uh, recently and this is now called the Ronin. Uh, and I like that. I can't remember the name of the beer, that bottle cap in the end. It's got some nice uh, heft to it, so, some good girth on this brush. And of course, this is inspired by Paladin. And by the way, there's at least five people or five brush makers that I know that use this same shape. So... A lot of folks are doing it, and uh, you should always credit the original when you do an inspired design. I think that's fair to say. Um, but this is similar to the Paladin, Paladin uh, Samurai design. Really good looking brush, and that seam, it's kind of hard to see unless you're looking for it. Um, feels good in the hand. We look forward to using that. that. And he also sell these, sells these bases for it to sit on if you like. And he sent this thing. I'm not sure what that is, so I'll have to ask him, but... Uh, I must say, this came out better than expected. I do really love that Paladin uh, shape, or the Samurai shape, I should say. Uh, first done by Paladin. Very important to give that credit, I think. Okay, so let's set that aside, and we'll look forward to uh, using this. And by the way, Jose got some really hateful, racist remarks uh, sent his way. I've seen some of them, and, uh, you know, folks, let's just try to support each other and be happy. And I understand there'll be squabbles from time to time, but let's try to enjoy the hobby. Don't buy things you, you don't like or don't want to support. Do buy things you want to support and sort of, that's where I'm going to leave it. Okay, 
The next box comes to me from the inspector, from the inspector's den. I have no idea what's in here. So we look, <laughs> we look forward to unboxing it and seeing what the inspector has sent our way today. Let's have a little bit of our beverage and shout out to the guys at BBS Live, Nate and Mel, super awesome guys. Okay, let's see what the inspector has sent. Okay, so he sent this uh, Simpsons tin. I'm not sure. Oh, it's got some of the, it's got some of the old, uh, I think this is maybe the cafe latte. Oh yeah, that smells great. So thank you, inspector. Sent me a sample of that. I really appreciate it. Also, there is a little etu in here, which should be coming up um, very nice. Should be coming up from PAA soon at two, which smells like brute. Thank you, Inspector, for that. I appreciate that. He sent uh, Bib and Tucker Bitter Orange. I don't think I've ever used that, so let's give that away. Lightly scented, as you can see there, um, medium firm. Never tried it. Look forward to trying it. Thank you, Inspector. Let's see what else is in here. And also we have some Castle Forbes Lime, which I used to have, but uh, used all up. And this is an amazing scent. Very expensive though. This is an expensive cream. So thank you very much, Inspector. I appreciate it. Oh man, this is one of the best smelling straight limes um, that I've ever smelled. The, the uh, Castle Forbes, very, very expensive, but man, what a nice smelling uh, lime soap and or lime cream, I should say. And there you have it. We got a couple of brushes and a few soaps to try out. And I'm really looking forward to using both of these. This is bigger than it looks. Uh, it feels great though. And I think that is a, uh, this might be half moon, not, I want to say turn and shave. Um, and so we really look forward to using both of these brushes. And I want to thank you for joining us. We will do another unboxing when the Bailey's Irish coffee finally <laughs> arrives, but I want to thank all of you for joining me. Please, please just enjoy the hobby. Enjoy each other. Try to be respectful and courteous. And I think if we do that, we'll all have fun and all enjoy it. Until next time, I want to remind you. I'm your host, CDB, reminding you it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.